Hello and welcome to this new special episode of Continuum Gaming. This is a special episode accompanying the episode 80. And in this special episode I wanted to talk about, yeah, two little cuties, um, which I yeah, recently bought, or better to say, one of them I recently bought, the other one I have already for a couple of months, I think, I'm not sure. Um, and that are the Fitbit Blaze in this case and the Fitbit Ionic in this case. And the Fitbit Ionic is quite new and it's more or less a successor of the Fitbit Blaze here. And uh, I don't want to call it a competition or something because uh, the Fitbit Ionic for example is much more expensive than the Fitbit Blaze and uh, the Fitbit Blaze is just older. Um, because of that I don't want to call it a competition what we are doing now, but I want to show you some differences. I want to show you, for example, an unboxing of this uh, Ionic and I want to show you a little bit about the two things, how to, for example, make the notifications in Windows 10 Mobile working and stuff like that. And um, here are the packages of uh, the both thingies. Those are very nice smartwatches and uh, depending on what you need and what you want, you can use both of them. Um, and uh, yeah, just have a look at it, just see which one is the better one for you. And maybe you want uh, one of them and buy them. Because uh, I think both are very helpful smartwatches if you need a smartwatch. If you don't need a smartwatch or don't want uh, that kind of feeling, especially if you uh, don't need, for example, a fitness tracker, which the Blaze, for example, is more like. Uh, the Ionic is a little bit more like a smartwatch, but it's still a fitness tracker, uh, mostly. And um, yeah, depending on what you need and what you want to uh, use it for, uh, both can be very handy for you. So, I hope you will have fun and let's start. Yeah, and I will fast forward that because it will take a little bit of time to show you all of that. Um, there's this little package uh, which is more or less yeah, black or a slight dark blue or whatever. Um, yeah, it, it's more or less untreated or something like that. And there's this little tape we have to get rid of at the bottom there. There you can see uh, which different uh, wrist uh, bands are with it. And uh, you just have to get rid of that to get the other part out, like you can see here. There's a little nice shiny little emblem on that part there, you can see it there. And then you just open it up and you will see that there is uh, the watch itself at the top. And there are some kind of informations about the watch itself uh, below that. For example, there's this uh, starting guide we are seeing here. It's nicely done, really well presented, I think. And um, then there is just some kind of warranty stuff. We will just get rid of that now and uh, put it back in. Then there is uh, accessories uh, for the uh, smartwatch, more or less. So there are some cables and there is a different set of uh, arm bands there. So that you can, for example, uh, have a different size of arm wrists so you can use it. And then there is the watch itself and as you can see I have a little bit of trouble to get it out but that's really just a good packaging like that. So sooner or later I will get it out and uh, we'll show you what is going on there. There we are. And this is a little bit of, of uh, very nice armband around it and there's a little bit of uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what it is. I think, for example, this little part there is probably plastic. I'm not sure. I think it's plastic, but it's really well uh, well created and has a nice build quality to it. There's this little bit of uh, yeah, a pit more or less, which can be put into one of the holes uh, to set the, the, the armpit there uh, where we fit then. And of course there is this little kind of, of um, snapper and the interesting part about that is that there is a little bit of an edge there which uh, will prevent it to open up easily which is a good thing if you are using it as a sport watch and a bad thing if you are using it in, in a different way but in the end it's just made to not flip around there you can see it 
and that is really a nice thing to have um, at least if you are not trying to uh, to uh, bring it to your arm then you have to be a little bit cautioned and as you can see it's a little bit harder to do that okay now let's get rid of this little yeah plastic foul there so we have the whole uh, smartwatch now out as you can see it's quite shiny it's very very nicely done in the metal frame around it i think it's metal and it's looking quite nicely there are the different uh, more or less uh, the, the pulse matter and stuff like that so you can uh, easily see it and yeah let's have a look at the smartwatch itself and now we are just starting it up and I can tell you that it really takes a lot of time to not not even start it up. Starting is okay, but it really takes a lot of time to set it up. So let's start with that. First we will just insert that there. You have to choose which smartwatch you want to use there. And then just follow the instructions over and over. So set up the Ionic here. They will more or less keep you busy for a little bit of time, but you really have to have a lot of time to set it up. So I don't know how long it really took, but I think you at least you may want to have, let's say, half an hour to, to 45 minutes or something like that to set it all up. So they are really saying you what is going on. Now we have found the, the smartwatch and the smartwatch is showing the more or less the Bluetooth password more or less. You have to pull it in, then it will connect to that. So it needs that just to be uh, able to communicate with you. Now it's uh, Windows 10 is asking you if you want to connect. Yes, you want to. So do that and now we can just close that and the connection should be there. Yeah, and uh, as I said before, it will take a lot of time, so keep keep it up. And uh, even if you think it's not doing anything, it's really doing something. I think it's more or less uh, getting the OS system for the clock updated or something like that. And like that, it will take a little bit of time. It's asking you for the uh, password of the uh, of the Wi-Fi you are, uh, want to create there. So just wait a little for that to uh, be uh, done there okay and now we are ready to go we can input it now and again it will take a lot of time to to get through that it's not looking like that because i'm uh, showing you only a small part of it but you really have to uh, be patient with this uh, smartwatch now you see on the smartwatch itself that the, there is an error more or less which is showing you that everything is fine and then the communication has been done and yes we can just go on and it's going on with the connection stuff and now I think it's just installing something maybe I don't know maybe there are no uh, no real apps on it or the apps have to be updated or something like that but it really takes a lot of time and after that we can have a look while it's doing that we can have a look at the charging mechanism here so the charging mechanism is more or less a magnet which is just sli sliding in place by itself very nicely done and um, yeah in the upper left of the display you can see that uh, there is charging uh, going on so how much uh, there is and later on you will see that it's more or less like this so you can see how much it has shaded, uh, charged already and yeah now we are more or less through that and we can have a look at the different options here so just slide through the menus you can slide up down left right and stuff like that and it will all show you different things and there are different apps on it already which can be shown here let's go to the settings now and have a look what's going on there and yeah it's looking more or less like this we can have a look at the, uh, at the version which is running here the ip addresses and yeah what's going on there how much space is left on that and you can set it reset it to the factory uh, standards and stuff like that so it's really a nice thing to have here
Yeah, and one app is really, yeah, more or less interesting. It's a wallet app. So with the wallet app, you can, for example, pay via NFC on an NFC enabled terminal, for example. Uh, for that, you have to, uh, to put in a credit card, of course. Here you see both of them in comparison. The biggest differences are, of course, besides something like you already know from the data sheet, like for example that's the, bit, the Fitbit Ionic here is uh, is water resistant and the Fitbit Blaze isn't. So this one can be used to dive, I think, 50 meters if I'm not wrong. And this one uh, doesn't have any kind of, of uh, water resistance, so don't go swimming with this one. This one can be taken to, uh, for example, the, uh, the swimming pool or whatever you want to swim in. Um, I'm not sure what happens if you go, for example, for salt water. So uh, you may want to yeah, first read the data sheet, for example, uh, before you are going to the ocean or something like that with that one. But in general, you can, for example, use it for for any sport, swimming in, for example, a swimming pool or whatever you want to swim in. Um, the other differences are more or less visible already here because the different bands here are really different. Um, you can already see that this is a little bit stiffer at this point, so there is a different uh, connection between the, the clock itself or the watch itself and the, uh, the arm wrist here. So if I take this, you can easily see that there is a little button more or less at the top and at the bottom. If I press that one, I can quite easily get out the, the wristband itself. And uh, if I want to uh, set it in again, I just have to put it in like that. And uh, this uh, this is more or less how you uh, would uh, get rid of the wristband here. That's a big difference to the other watch we have here. The Blaze is really using it in a different way. If you look, have a look at that, there is no kind of, of button here to press or something. In this case, you really have to put it out like that, so maybe a little bit pressure and it will come out of this frame here where you can see there are the buttons and the buttons itself are visible on the device itself too and like that this can be changed of course and of course the, the, bit, uh, the Fitbit Ionic can be changed too but it's really a different thing to do it and I think this one is yeah, the worst thing, but but uh, who, it works and uh, whatever you want to use there, uh, those are okay. But I would use uh, the Fitbit Ionic here uh, instead of that one because it's just a better version to do it. And uh, if you want to reconnect it, just have a look at the different buttons so that the button count is the right one because on the right there is a button count of 2, on the left there is a button count of 1, so just put it in again. Do it from the behind and after that just uh, clip it into the space again and it should be there. And you can see a another thing here. Um, the display brightness is very, very different. So on the blaze it is really quite dim. Um, it looks dimmer than it actually is because I have a lightning situation here that is really not made to, uh, to be seen like that because both of the, the uh, watches are quite black I had to to uh, brighten up everything very mu much here but in general as you can see this is quite dim compared to let's have a look compared to for example this display so the new Fitbit Ionic has a much better display um, it's easier to handle too because it's just more responsive and uh, yeah which one is looking better for you? I think this one is looking better for me, um, but it really depends on what you want here and uh, if you are willing to pay the extra money for this kind of optic here instead of this kind of optic. And there's one other dis uh, uh, difference between the both, it is the charging algorithm or the charging devices. So if you want, for example, the Fitbit to be charged, the Fitbit Blaze to be charged here, um, you have to use this kind of, of cage more or less and this cage can be opened here's a button so press on that click on it 
and it will slide open and now you have to get the Fitbit Blaze out of the frame here. Now you can see there are a few little pins and you have to line them up with this pin. So put it in like that, close it down and now you can for example use a standard uh, smartphone uh, charger, charger or something like that and put it in and charge the Fitbit Blaze there. This is how you do it with the Fitbit Blaze and of course you have to um, get it out then again, put it in again to wear it. Clip it in at the right position. You can see that this is not always the easiest way to do, but now I have it. and. This is how you would charge the blaze with this little cage. And the other one is yeah, much improved if, uh, if you ask me, because in this case you really don't have to do it like that. You just have to use this little yeah, connector here. And this one is more or less a magnet, or it is a magnet more or less. And um, you can just use the, uh, the Ionic for example like this. Just keep this uh, this uh, tile, uh, this uh, connector here, put it on there and now it will not fall off or whatever. It will slide right into the right place if you just leave it here. There's nothing you have to do there. The magnets will do the, uh, the rest for you. And now you can just use, for example, a standard uh, USB uh, charger or whatever to uh, charge this one too. Both are working. Uh, both can be used and uh, both are yeah, more or less easy to, to charge, but that is the biggest difference uh, I can uh, tell you about. Yeah, and uh, of course the other differences are, for example, this smartwatch can not stand like that. It really is hard to get them to uh, stay in the right position. But uh, the Fitbit Ionic, for example, has of course the ability to GPS track you where you want if you activate it, uh, because it has an integrated GPS tracker uh, in and the Fitbit Blaze doesn't have one. And of course you can, for example, if you have uh, Bluetooth headphones, you need Bluetooth headphones to use it, um, then you can, for example, use this one as a standalone MP3 player because uh, it has an internal storage for that and the Fitbit Blades doesn't have that. That's more or less a difference. Um, there's a difference for the, the wristband itself. So if you have a look at that, this one has not this kind of, of emblem there and this is more or less something you need to fix the, bar with the uh, watch with. So this is more or less just a little knob there that you can put in on the other side here. So now the knob will hold it there in place. It's easier to use than for example the one on the blaze. I will show you later why. And um, oh, then there are just this little clip on here. Um, which has this kind of ang angle there and the angle is really helping but both have that um, and this little angle will prevent the, the smartwatch especially if you are doing sports or something to uh, get rid or, or uh, slide off your wrist for example and like that you just fix it on your, your uh, wrist first then and everything is fine. Um, in this case uh, there's a different mechanism to use it. The difference is more or less that at this point here, I hope you can see that. It's hard to show. I hope you can see it. Yeah, I think now you can see it more or less. There is a little knob too, which, uh, which can be put into the, the holes here. Um, it's working the same way more or less, but it's a little bit harder to get it through. Because if you just try to uh, to do it like that, then um, you really can't put this in easily. You have to more or less slide that one up so that you can put it in one of the holes like that. Other than that, everything is fine and uh, works too. But you really have to handle it with a little bit more caution here instead of the Fitbit Ionic, which is easier to apply, I think. 
Yeah, and that's more or less the difference between the two smartphones. Um, the software itself is more or less the same. I think the Ionic has, uh, has the new software, but it has the same features. Uh, additional, of course, there is, uh, is an MP3 player and stuff like that that the Fitbit Blaze, for example, can't use, of course. But um, in general, the software itself concerning the notifications and stuff like that is the same. So just use or choose what you want to use there. Those are very nice smartwatches. Okay, and now let's have a look at the notifications and what to do to get them. Because many people have problems with that and yeah, it's more or less only because they don't know how to do it. Um, there are different options you have to set up to uh, get notifications uh, working before you can start with it. So, first off, um, the first thing is we need to go to our watch. And uh, now you can just stripe through the system here. And if you go to the settings now, you have to make sure that at notifications, it's Benachrichtigungen in German, but notifications in English, um, you really need to have a look that everything is set to be as you want it. For example, uh, at the training and stuff like that, just set it up as you want. For example, that uh, if there is a training, you want to be uh, not notifi notified about things. Or if you are sleeping, you don't want to uh, be notified or you want to um, be notified. It really depends on what you want to do there. Okay, so after that, you can just go out again to this screen, of course. And now I will go to the, uh, to the Fitbit app at this point. And it will look the same as you see here, more or less. Uh, I, of course, have already synced it. You are seeing that there is a synchronization on uh, at the moment uh, indicated by this bar and uh, uh, synchronization has been done now. Uh, you can see that uh, by having a look at this little icon here. So if this is green, the watch is connected at the moment. So just click on the watch now. And as you can see, there is a tracker we are currently connected to. It's an icon at the moment. Um, I think it's the same with the blaze. Uh, it would be Blaze, of course, at this point, but I'm not using the Blaze anymore, I'm using the icon now. And uh, now just click on that. Now you come to the notifications, or better to say, to the different options here. And uh, there's, for example, Uhren, which means uh, the clock faces, more or less. If you click on that, you can just see which is the active uh, clock face at the moment. And you can have a look at the different uh, clock faces available um, in more or less the store. And here you can see there are a few different ones you can choose from and you can uh, reset and, and uh, do different settings on them so that they are looking a little bit different from now on them. Um, we just don't want to do anything here. So this is uh, my active, uh, active clock face. I like it like that and I will keep it like that. And um, then we can just go back, have a look at that. Here you can see the, the current version I'm using here. And um, there are apps uh, you can have a look at. Most of the apps are already installed, but there are a few more. As you can see, there's uh, music, there's Brieftasche, which, me which means more or less uh, the um, payment system of Fitbit, where you can, for example, set up a credit card to pay with it uh, using the NFC ship in this icon. Um, that is not possible with the Blaze, for example. It's only possible with the icon. And then you can, we have uh, just training and the Starva and, and many more. If you can set up something, uh, you can see it at this point. So that you can, for example, do any kind of setting for that. Um, and these are more or less the ones which, uh, which are installed already. And if you go to all apps, you can have a look at a few more, for example, timer can be installed. Music, of course, music is uh, only available on the icon because the icon itself has a own, um, own possibility to save, uh, to save things in the icon itself, uh, which is not possible with a Fitbit a Blaze because the Blaze doesn't have any kind of, of internal hard drive or whatever. And um, like that, you can uh, do that and uh, yeah, have a look at that if you want to have a few more. 
but as you can see most of them or at least all of them uh, are already installed here and because of that you really don't have to have a look at this very much but let's go back to uh, to what there more um, there is median of course median means that uh, all the different music you uploaded to this icon would be uh, shown here I don't have any kind of music at the moment at the icon because I don't have any kind of Bluetooth headset uh, at the moment so I couldn't uh, hear the music because there's no headphone jack jack or whatever on this you have to use a Bluetooth connection to play the music there. Um, then there's a manual, we don't have to have a look at that and there would be uh, accessories because uh, for example you can get different um, bands here and stuff like that but you really don't have to uh, think about that. So here's notifications and there we want to go and um, if I activate that you can see we will, will take part in the open beta version uh, of activations for this. Um, it's standard, uh, standard uh, that it's activated I think but if you're not open that up and activate it then you can have a look at uh, what should be defined and what should be notified for and here's the biggest problem many people are facing and I can see why that is because it's really not very much to see here or you can't really easily see that but um, for example, the calls, Anrufe means calls, uh, are activated. You should uh, get information about it. This is an SMS, so uh, short messages um, should be activated too, and they are. Um, calendar, so if you, for example, have any kind of appointments or stuff like that, they will be uh, focused here too. This is working all right. And now the app notifications are where the people are having problems. And what you really need to know is it's not just uh, activating it here. But you have to go into that and if you click on that you will be brought to this screen and in this screen you have to check, it can take a little, let's see how long, uh, but in this screen uh, you will have to uh, check which apps should be allowed to send you stuff. Yeah, and then you will be at this screen and this screen will help you to set up which apps on your smartphone should be allowed to send some kind of notifications to your system, to your smartwatch for example. And uh, this is really important to set up and everything is, is set to not to be allowed at the default state. So to get that really go through this list and for example if you want to go to WhatsApp here we can see I have a lot of apps on this. This is the case, uh, and this is the reason because uh, why I have to wait a lot till everything is on here. I will go to the bottom here, and I will show you that, for example, most of them are, are of course uh, off because I don't want to be uh, upset by them all the time or interrupted by them all the time. But if you go low enough you will find a few I want to activate for example WhatsApp should be allowed to send me something so activate that maybe weather don't know doesn't matter and like that you should have a look at what you really want uh, to be activated here and if you activate it like this then you should get all the information you are used to on your screen here and of course for example Outlook Mail for example should be on too it's a little bit hard to find but like that and now it should be working as you want it to work and there we go now go back and like that you see we have different options here for example uh, these are the quiet hours, so in these hours you won't be won't get any kind of notifications from the clock, for example, if you set it up like that. And of course you can uh, can set them in any kind of way you want them to be. And uh, like that, you can activate the the um, notifications. And of course, this is not everything you may have to do depending on what you have set up uh, before. For example, you may have to set up the, the notifications in the settings itself too. So let's go to the settings here. 
and you may have to have a look at Benachrichtigungen and Benachrichtigungen and, act and actions here, so notifications and actions. Um, if you don't have the, uh, the information put up here, um, you won't get any kind of notifications here neither. This will take a little because I already have a lot, but make sure you have the Fitbit activated here and Garmin Connect if you need it uh, activated too, whatever. But Fitbit needs to be activated at this point, otherwise you won't get any notifications like that. Yeah, and if you activate both of these, you should get notifications on the smartwatch here and everything should work out as it should. Yeah, and after setting that up, uh, the notifications are working again. If you have a look at the top left of my smartphone display there, there was a notification coming which is more or less as only an uh, email I sent by Outlook. And as you can see the smartwatch itself is showing it too. Um, you can't see the smartwatch itself going on for example because it really doesn't. It really just shows you the information and it will use the vibration um, engine to sh to give you notifications that there is something new. And as you can see there are different notifications that are showing on the smartwatch because you have to dismiss them. Yeah, and there you have it. That was a small compendium or whatever you want to call it about the Ionic and a little bit about the uh, Blaze. And uh, both are nice smartwatches, you can have a look at them. And uh, yeah, let's see if uh, one of them is maybe something for you. Especially if you are on Windows 10 Mobile, those are very great smartwatches. And uh, more or less a good fitness tracker. And like that you can just choose which one you prefer. The so Windows uh, 10 Mobile compatible uh, Fitbit Blaze or the uh, Fitbit Ionic. Also a nice one. Um, hope you had fun. Uh, I hope I will see you again in the other episodes. I will uh, put in the info box with uh, uh, other information there. And you should be able to switch over to the normal episode, for example, where I will present uh, three games in a row. Uh, each of the episodes I will show you. And I think yeah, we have 80 episodes, of course. Uh, so there are a lot to find out and a lot to discover there. So please have a look over there. If you like this video, please like it. If you want to share it, please share it. And uh, if you have any kind of question regarding, for example, one of the other Fitbit trackers here, um, please let me know in the comments below. So have a nice day. See you soon and have fun.